Um, a lot of bad stuff is happening right now to me at the moment. Like, uh, my aunt has like some big operations. And because of these operations, when she gets back home, she wants to be alone, you know. She feels it when somebody is in her home. And uh, that's why she needs privacy and needs to stay alone. Then there is my mother, uh, which I lived before uh, COVID-19 for quite some time alone. Uh, well, with my mother and, you know, and uh, not really 100% official, you know, registered and whatnot. And basically, it's kind of funny because if you've asked me like one or two months ago, the problem would have been that this guy uh, where I'm living in the village is like the main problem because I have to come over there every, every time, you know? But now uh, the situation has kind of turned and turns out um, basically uh, my family is somewhat dead to me, you know? Like uh, I have all these mentally disabled people which call themselves a family and uh, they're basically pulling me down. And it's the basic boomer mindset taking me down over and over again. And that's why I have to cut ends loose, you know? This is like the final straw. And the good thing is, the good thing is, officially in the media it's always, yeah, all people are very lonely. You know, oh, boo hoo hoo, uh, woe me. Oh, I'm so lonely, why is nobody visiting me? But here's the funny background story. I know for a fact that I'm not a special case, you know? I could imagine this happens all the time, like 100% of the time. And what this means is, basically, all people want to be loved, you know, give them attention. Like, you should be there for them, you should be helping them. But when you want something in return, you're kind of screwed, you're kind of messed up. It's like, uh, you should dedicate your life to make them feel good. And uh, basic shit, like living there. Not even for, not even a fucking full year, would be like 10 or 11 months at most. Uh, yeah, no, that's not, that's not happening, you know. You should drive whatever it takes, you know, like 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers. You should like cut out that piece of time in your day and do shit for them. And this really annoys me, you know. And this happened with my mother, this happened with my aunt. Basically, these are the two family members, kind of, that are left, you know, in my inner circle thing. And, uh, yeah, if I imagine, you know, like, let's say I had grown up in a foster home or some shit like that. Um, yeah, I might be, might have been better off. Less drama, less police. Thinking about it, considering the fact, you know, I have to cut ends loose. And the funny thing is, like, uh, there are people out there, younger people, or my generation, whatever, and people my age sometimes forget how shitty they got treated, you know, like, oh yeah, uh, there were good times, there were bad times, blah, blah, blah. Let's just put on my glasses. And uh, they kind of think, they kind of think you forget that shit, you know? Like, oh, I'm so sorry. Could you, like, uh, forgive me? And uh, like most retarded people, they say, yeah, they get into these boomers life uh, involved once again and they have learned nothing. Give me a second right here. Yep. Learned absolutely nothing. Nothing of value has been gained to their fucking experience. And they repeat these mistakes, you know, they get drawn into these, uh, let's call them threats. Of boomer life thingy. Let's try this out. Yeah, let's see if this shit's 